we're active in the power generation and oil and gas um, exploration production businesses. So in the power generation we've got um, a number of gas-fired power stations and uh, four wind farms. So if we step inside the, the control room, um, which is remote from all of these assets, what we have, we've got a control room operator, let's call him Tim. He's got four wind farms, therefore he's got four control systems. Each of those are storing the data for that particular wind farm. The difficulty Tim has there is he's got multiple systems. He can only put his eyes in one place at any one time. There's a number of challenges there which are causing the operator to, to be distracted away from actually proactively operating these, the, these wind farms. Primarily we want to, uh, to put a tool in that helps the operators, that gives them a real-time, high-level view of the whole status so that he, he knows where to focus his attention. But a secondary obje objective was to be able to provide information to these other business users. Why have we called this Pie Chips and Peas? These are a working names that we gave during a, a project that we've had over the last few months. Pi clearly refers to our Pi server. Chips is the name that we give to a SQL server which stores a load of attribute and reference data. And then our chosen primary visualization using Pi core size, we call Peas. The first things we did was, you know, we kind of targeted Pi core site to be a uh, the primary visualization. We really wanted just to bring all users within an accessible data circle, we called it, either indirectly, so they may not actually know they're now accessing Pi and they're now looking at Pi data and accessing Pi AF, etc. So what happens on the offshore wind farms is a vessel will go out with, with technicians towards the turbine. Um, the technician will call the control room to get that turbine released to him under the safety rules. Um, he then takes that into local control, turns it off, goes and does the work he needs to. When he's finished his work, he puts it back into remote control and returns it back to the operator. So when the operator went through that process and he logged the return of the turbine back to him, rather than returning to a green P, it's all running, everything's fine, it wasn't, it was flashing, it was white, which was indicating the combination of the statuses. This was basically saying it was left in local control and was not generating. Now, that wouldn't have been immediately obvious. That, that could potentially have been some time before the operator noted that, by which time the guy's back on the vessel, travel back home again, and you've lost a night's generation on that wind turbine. He was able to spot this straight away, get in touch with the vessel, turn the vessel around, turn the technician back to, to, to put it back into local control, which, which meant we had an extra night's generation, and, um, which was 3,000 pounds or that kind of value. It wasn't huge value, but it really, landed with the operators. They, they saw an immediate value to having this tool and, and it was giving them information which just would not have been available to them or certainly not readily available.